the thing about the singularity and like Kurzweil's idea about like this accelerating returns and Moore's law just going on forever and you know this power source thing right the idea that it would need increasing levels of power yeah. as well and so this leads to this sort of exponential drive for materials and power and the thing that Kurzweil forgets is exponential trends are not like laws of nature the law of nature about exponential trends is they end. Right, they have right? to end. They, they have, have to, to end. end. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, and it's because uh, ultimately limited resources like energy. Right. Right. And so, although, yeah. When we talk about how much longer a charge in our computer lasts right. today compared with the early days of laptops, oh, yeah. part of that is better batteries, but also yeah. part of that is more efficient chips. Yeah. And when we get to quantum computing, where much more computing happens in much less, with much less of an energy draw. Yeah. It could be that we're coming at it from the other side, yeah. where the energy needs yeah. are dropping, thereby not requiring the power supplies necessary. I, how long, well, in my memory, not your memory, <laughs> I, got, I got a few years on you, a room this size was necessary yeah. to cool a computer, otherwise a computer would overheat, and the computer's doing like four function mathematics. So the efficiencies matter. All sure. these tubes that yeah. have to be kept cool. Right. So I, it's not obvious that it's a linear ex exponential. <laughs> Can right. I say that? <laughs> <laughs> right. Where the exponential is just going to hit a limit because right. you can come at it from other directions. Yes. Oh, yeah. However, the other thing is, though, in nature, the exponential acceleration, it's more like the law of diminishing returns yeah. is more likely than the law of exponential acceleration. Well, no, that's actually exactly right. Yeah, because there's, uh, you know, if you look at the history of Moore's law, like how it is that the semiconductor name industry. For. Oh yeah, named for Gordon Moore. Gordon Moore. Co-founder of Intel. Yes. And if you look at, at how Intel and other, you know, semiconductor companies actually made the chips smaller and faster over that time, you know, it's not a law of nature, it's a decision, a business decision that these companies made and in order to keep that trend going, they had to invest more and more and more money just to keep the same sort of level of doubling to keep that uh, exponential trend going. And eventually it did stop, right? Moore's law is done, it's over. Because you can't make silicon transistors smaller than an atom of silicon. Right. Yeah, and what they're doing now uh, is just adding more chips. Right. Yeah. So the more right. powerful computers are not smaller and denser, they're yeah. just bigger now. Yep. Right. Yeah, and they're putting them on top You're of You're stacking each other. them, yeah. yeah. Right. So the, the solution in the minds of these tech billionaires is to arrive at a super intelligence to get at an AGI. Yeah, yeah, an and artificial they, they, I mean, does, yeah. Sam Altman is saying within the next two years, that yeah, will two, be achievable. Four, I think he said, yeah. Right, so they're looking at that as being the solution to this problem where we're saying we're not sure if it will be exponential, we're not sure where the end point is. They're looking at it as the, as the solution to every problem. None of the tech bros yeah. have a degree in physics the way you do. Yep. So what are you bringing to the table that they don't see? I mean, they believe that AGI, I mean, Altman has said that AGI is gonna solve every problem, including like global warming, which is, Crazy. Why what, is it crazy? Well, because- If it's smarter than you, and you can't <laughs> solve it, why is it crazy to think it could, could solve it? Well, first of all, the artificial intelligence systems that they're building now are just drawing more and more and more energy. If you did build one that could solve global warming mm. uh, and you turn it on and said, how do you solve global warming? I'm pretty sure the first thing it would do is say, well, you shouldn't have built me. Yeah, you turn me yeah, off. Yeah, turn, exactly. me off. <laughs> turn me off. Yeah. yeah, that'll help. Yeah, uh -huh. um, that would be a good test of its own yeah. self <laughs> preservation. Right. If, if say you are causing most of our global warming, what's the yeah. best solution? Does it turn yourself off? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, the other thing is that we don't need AI to tell us how to solve it. We already no. know what the solution yeah, is. Wow, yeah. The issue is not like that insufficient intelligence has been thrown at the problem. The issue is primarily not even a technological problem at all at no. this point, aside from carbon capture. It's, the it's main issue behavior. is, no, it's, yeah, it's yeah, human behavior. It's, it's greed. Exactly, it's, it's greed. getting, yeah, it's greed. It's, it's greed. And Chuck, it's, greed is good. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, um, but the, yeah, the other thing is, is just that when Altman talks about, you know, he's talked about things like 
oh, AI means that in 10 years, college graduates are gonna be getting, you know, cool jobs exploring the solar system, right? And I can just look at that and say, well, that's bullshit. Or, you know, he says, AI is gonna, you know, discover new laws of physics, and that's gonna remove limitations that we have in the world today. And I'm like, well, discovering new laws of physics, I mean, putting aside whether or not the AI can do that, that does not always remove limitations. Sometimes new laws of physics, in fact, a lot of times new create laws of physics a limitation. create a limitation, right. exactly. Einstein, with relativity, discovered a limitation in the speed of light, right? Newton didn't know that there was any such limitation. Right. Yeah. Right. So is it possible yeah. that all of these, I'll, we'll, I'll call them postulates, because they're not, you know, that, that, that they're making, yeah. right? Are just a means of hyping up what they're doing to keep the revenue stream coming to them like let's be honest if yeah. i tell you this thing is going to solve everything right i give you my money you give me right yeah you give me some money yeah i mean it's kind of like not just me the government will what, give no you that's money. what i'm saying oh, yeah. everybody, 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 everybody everybody's everybody. going to give you money it's mm -hmm. kind of like it's 21st century snake oil is well, that what you're I was, telling me i was oh. about to say something different i was okay, going to say <laughs> it's kind of the evangelical business model yeah. of a television evangelist yeah mm. Like the whole idea is, hey, you got problems and these problems can be addressed. They can be solved. All you got to do is send me some money. Yeah. That's all you got to do. And mm -hmm. I'm going to send you this little blessing cloth. And, you know, Chuck was a preacher in his earlier yeah. career. And if he isn't, he will be in the future. <laughs> I mean, I <laughs> one thing, I made the wrong decision. <laughs> <laughs> Preaching is good money. <laughs> Everything we've discussed has been about being somewhere else. Yeah. About not solving problems here. Yep. So are these people looking at Earth and going, you are completely screwed. Yeah. We're out of here and we're the ones that can afford it and we're the ones with the tech to be able to achieve it. Why are they walking away? What's in their mind? What's their thinking about turning their back and moving? Well, they think that... But they didn't grant you an interview. Yeah, they didn't grant you. So you don't really know what's on their mind. Well, oh, you, you can read enough of their stuff to, yeah, have I was gonna say, to infer okay. what's on All their right. mind. Yeah, right. they've given other people interviews who are nicer to them. <laughs> 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 I, I can be you a nice guy. charming enough? Yeah, okay. apparently not. I mean, I just I sent an email. A couple of them were almost willing to do it, and then they changed mm -hmm. their minds probably because, you know, they, they read the email again. They're like, oh, he's going to disagree with us. Why should we talk to him? But right. whatever. Some of them are being very cynical, like the way that you were talking about, right? Um, and saying, oh, you know, uh, I can just do this. And this is, you know, I can claim that all of these things are coming in the future. And that this is a way of, you know, generating more profit and getting people to give me more money. Some of them, I think, genu genuinely believe it. The idea that the future has to be elsewhere, I think some of it is just from this sense that they have that things are bad here on Earth and that trying to solve problems here on Earth would be complicated and messy and difficult, and that somehow going to space would give them a fresh start, which is not true. Mm -hmm. You can't escape, you know, politics. You can't escape- We're still human. human yeah, nature. exactly, you can't escape yeah. human nature, exactly. Thank you.